Although Yorkshire has long been divided into four counties, York is still considered the capital of this lovely corner of northern England. The city is filled with fun things to do and attractions that reveal the many layers of its long history. York boasts the country's longest circuit of medieval city walls, stretching over two miles and offering marvelous views of the city. It is also home to York Minster, the largest medieval church in England. York is immensely walkable. Restrictions keep vehicles away from the major attractions that you'll most likely to want to visit, ensuring a safe, traffic-free experience as you wander. For more great ideas about these and other things to do in this beautiful part of England, watch our video of the top attractions in York. Number 1. Medieval York City Walls A walk along York's medieval city walls leaves a lasting impression of this beautiful city. Built mainly in the 14th century, the walls incorporate some of the city's original Roman structures and total over 3.4 kilometers in length. Adding to the fun is the chance to explore four of the old gates, all of them well preserved. These include Walmgate Bar, Monk Bar, and Bootham Bar, all with their original porcoise, and Micklegate Bar with its three knights. If you've only got time to tackle part of the wall, the stretch of wall between Bootham Bar and Monk Bar offers excellent views of York Minster. Number 2. York Minster Imposing York Minster, known in full as the Cathedral and Metropolitical Church of St. Peter in York, is a must-visit. It was built to commemorate the monks who converted those living in the surrounding countryside to Christianity. You'll spot its spires from pretty much every corner of the city, making it an easy attraction to find. A highlight of a tour is seeing the Minster's impressive stained glass windows, most notably the pilgrimage window. Dating from about 1312 and positioned above a stunning golden dragon's head that stares up at it, the window depicts Peter surrounded by pilgrims along with a few unusual details, such as the funeral of a monkey. Also of interest is the cathedral treasury, with its interactive galleries portraying the building's colorful history from its Roman roots to today. Displays include more than 2,000 years of remarkable artifacts found nearby that provide an insight into the cathedral's important role over the centuries. Number 3. Clifford's Tower Located between Fishergate and Skeldergate Bridge and overlooking York Castle Museum, Clifford's Tower was originally built of wood by the Normans in 1068. What you see towering above you today, however, was constructed in the 13th century as a replacement for the original wooden fortress and is the oldest remaining part of York Castle. Named after Roger de Clifford, who was executed here in 1322 as leader of the Lancastrian party, the tower was also infamous as the place where the king would put those he had executed on display. Recently upgraded and renovated with large wood beams and steel stairways, the tower is popular today for its stunning panoramic views over the city. Number 4. Ramble Through the Shambles One of York's biggest tourist attractions is the Shambles, a narrow 14th-century thoroughfare with lovely overhanging timber-framed buildings. Once known as the Great Flesh Shambles for its numerous butcher shops and stalls, the area is now an eclectic mix of shops, restaurants, tear rooms, and boutiques. Look up as you stroll, and you can still spot the meat hooks outside many of these old shop fronts. The Shambles is also where you'll find five of York's fascinating snickleways. This collection of small streets and winding footpaths connects the old city and is a treat to explore. The area is especially fun to explore in early winter, when the streets are lit as part of the city's annual Christmas festival. Number 5. National Railway Museum Located just a short walk away from York Railway Station, the National Railway Museum has an impressive array of locomotives and carriages dating from 1820 to the present day. You'll want to begin your adventure exploring the many exhibits in the Great Hall. Here, you'll find displays and engines related to the early days of steam, from the famous Stephenson's rocket, which pulled Britain's first passengers, to the exquisite Mallard, the world's fastest steam engine. The Great Hall also houses an impressive collection of modern diesel and electric engines, including a Japanese bullet train. Other fun things to do here include climbing over a replica pedestrian bridge for a bird's eye view of the engines, and taking a fast virtual ride aboard the Mallard Experience. The museum also boasts more than a million artifacts. The collection includes everything from posters to paintings, along with more than 1,000 hours of unique recordings relating to Britain's rich railway history. No cost admission, undoubtedly, makes this attraction the best thing to do for free in York. Guided tours are available for a fee. Number 6. Explore the River Ouse by boat or on foot. Spend time exploring the banks of the River Ouse, which splits York in two. In addition to its numerous lovely gardens, you can see wonderful examples of riverside architecture, 
such as the majestic 15th century Guildhall. Another great view of York can be enjoyed from a cruise on the river, either on an all-weather passenger boat or on a self-drive motor boat. In the summer, cruises also go to Bishopthorpe Palace, the riverside residence of the Archbishop of York. And don't forget to stop for a sweet treat from the solar ice cream boat. Number 7. York Gardens Be sure to spend time in the lovely and free-to-enter Museum Gardens. Extending across some 10 acres in the heart of the old city, this beautiful garden is home to more than 40 species of birds, as well as trees, shrubs, and flowers under the ruined walls and arches of the medieval St. Mary's Abbey. Recently expanded, the gardens now include an edible wood and an artist's garden, an outdoor gallery with rotating exhibits. Number 8. Castle Howard An easy 30-minute drive northeast of York is majestic Castle Howard. Set amid thousand acres of parkland and richly furnished with antiquities and treasures, family-owned Castle Howard is undoubtedly one of England's most spectacular country estates. The grounds are on the scale to match the house, with an impressive family mausoleum, an obelisk, a pyramid, and the lovely Temple of the Four Winds. And, of course, there's a spectacular fountain at the front of the mansion, perfect for the ultimate selfie. Be sure to check the official website for news of concerts and events, including the popular Festival of Dogs, a fun gathering of pet owners from far and wide, with their pups, of course.